What's up, y'all? It's your boy Vi Campson, and I'm back with another, not a video, a podcast for y'all, man. Hey, I'm, st- I'm starting the podcast, the Bart Campson podcast. That's what it's called right now. Man, you smacking, bro. My fault. My fault. <laughs> the Bart Campson podcast, episode one. Hey, this the pilot for y'all. Hey, now we're going to get into some topics. I'm basically winging it for this episode. I got some notes. Y'all let me know anything that y'all want to see uh, on this podcast, you know. I, I want this to be a conversation piece. Like, I want all of y'all to talk about these topics in the comments down below. And I want all of y'all to talk about anything that y'all want me to improve on or any way that you think the podcast can be better. Y'all just let me know in the comments down below. But, yeah, I'm going to get into the reason why I'm starting this podcast. I feel like, to be honest, um, my content on, on this channel has gotten to be... Uh, low key stale. Uh, I don't, I don't want to use the word stale, but I'm not finna be just just making straight up dread videos all the time. I'm not finna be making vlogs, even though I enjoy the vlogs uh, a lot more than the dread videos. I just want y'all to see every part of me with this channel, and this, and this is gonna make it be uh, a really transparent viewing of me, cause I'm gonna give y'all the good, the bad, and the ugly on this podcast. I'm not uh. I'm not sparing no prisoners. Ain't, ain't that what they say? Yeah, anyway. Like yeah, 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 yeah. I want this to be un- unapolog- unapologetically me. So, yeah, we're going to get into this. I'm, uh, I got two guests with me guess. today. Yes, both b- both of them are, are guests on the Bart Council podcast. Co-host. He don't think I'm going to be here every week, but I'm going to be here every week for y'all. I got my boy Drew. What's Go up, ahead. How y'all doing? Andrew Davis, a.k.a. Maclicious, you know what I'm saying? Look. We here to support the the Brody, you know what I'm saying? But we're going to drop some knowledge at the same time. And I got my boy. Hi, Free. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? Now, y'all done seen them both on the channel. Y'all know these two of my best friends. We share a lot of the same, um like, views on things, but we're going to get into it. Uh, the first thing I got to talk about with y'all is the mental health check-in, y'all. Now, this is going to be a mainstay on the channel, on the uh, podcast. I mean, I'm going to let y'all know uh, that right now. The mental health check-in is going to be on every episode. Like, I'm going to let y'all know what's going to be on every episode and what I feel like is just a one time for this one. But the mental health check-in, I'm going to start with it just to give everybody else uh, time to actually think about what they want to say on the pod. But the mental health check-in I got for right now is... uh. I mean, th- things going good right now. To be honest, they really they really going way better than like uh, a couple of days ago because I actually had a talk with my mom this morning, and I was talking to her about about me starting the podcast and stuff. And she she uh actually like showed some interest in the stuff, and that really meant a lot to me because uh, I was like I was like I'm starting the podcast, you know, and she and she was she was like, why do you be doing? Like all them videos and all the, all this stuff like that, and I'm like, cause I enjoy it a lot more than what I do. Y'all know I uh, do like automotive and stuff like that. And I was telling her that, that I basically enjoy all this stuff way more than I enjoy automotive, and I was just doing it because I felt like uh, I felt like it was a practical thing to do, and she did too. So yeah, I just feel like I'm doing way better. You know, I feel like me and my mom can get closer through things like this. Uh, us sharing interests with each other. I'm, I'm not saying that me and my mom's uh, uh, situation was bad or nothing like that, but I feel like we can be closer through what I'm doing and what she's doing. But, yeah, I just feel like my mental health is pretty good right now. I'm going to say it's in the uh, – I'm just coming up with this on the spot, but we're going to use we gonna use colors for this. My mental health is in the green right now. Uh, I would say, like, yellow would be, would be like, you know, somber or something like that in the middle, and red would be bad. If if, if red get bad, we might have to uh, dedicate the whole video to that because we got to get that in the green by the end of the video. But, yeah, mine in the green right now. Which one of y'all, one of y'all got to take on it? You want to rock, paper, scissors for you? You want to just go? Hey, I, it's up to you, bro. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, 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 well, he got okay, okay, so my mental health right now, it's in the green. Uh, my life is going good, you know, thanks to God, you know. Um... My relationship with guys is getting stronger. I started reading my Bible more. I started praying more. You know, life is going better. I start, like I used to be, you know, sad all the time and so, stuff, but you know, I'm better now. You know. Just trying to get good, just trying to get good, great, you know. Just doing great stuff. So yeah, I'm in the green. And I feel like it's always ways you can improve, so yeah. Go ahead, Andrew. Mm, I say it's in the green right now. The beginning of the week, it was just like, I guess I was yellow. 
I was just feeling so, so, I wouldn't just like, I would say at peace, but I was just cool. I'm just, I'm in a point in my life right now where I'm just feeling like, it's like just in a, like a, like a cycle right now. But it's not the I cycle. I feel like that too. But it ain't necessarily the cycle I want it to be right now. So, I'm, I got something that I'm going to put for the next part, the little something good you got. But, yeah, so right now, I I say it started off about yellow, but it's about the green right now. Just on certain different outlooks and stuff, stuff to come and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I put it at green right now. Yeah, man. Hey, he said, I ain't going to lie. He said the magic <clears throat> word with that, with that cycle thing, y'all. Like, I feel like low-key I'm in a cycle. Like, all I do every day is like, okay, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to be at work, and I'm just be like, whatever, you know. That's another thing with the mental health is is, is the working aspect. I mean, I don't hate my job, but like I was saying before, I enjoy doing, you know, making content way more, way more than I enjoy working under somebody and them telling me to go and fix this or, or, or go, and, go and do this oil and all this stuff like that. I enjoy this way more, so I feel like being in a cycle is de- is, is definitely something that, I, something that we all can um, we can all, we all can feel that being in a cycle, but uh yeah. All right, so the next topic I got for y'all is uh tell me something good. This is gonna be another mainstay on the pod, y'all. The pod we gonna always push uh positivity and what more positive things to do than than giving affirmations and uh saying what's good happening in your life so it can keep happening. Now. Something good I got happening in my life right now is obviously, uh, obviously, obviously this right now, like like living out my dreams and stuff. That's obviously a good thing. But I want to say like something for right now, right now, like this week. So let me think of something good that didn't happen this week. Um, well, this week I got uh, I I just acquired some some books from Amazon. Now Amazon had me had me messed up for a second. I ain't gonna lie because this stuff did not come due to the. Uh, well, it ain't really Amazon fault, but due to the ice and, and stuff like that that we had uh, in, in Jackson, I'm, I'm, I was gonna talk about that, but that's that's like local news. We'll talk about that maybe a little later. But yeah, uh, I didn't get none of my packages due to the ice. I was supposed to be getting a new ring light, and I was supposed to be getting um, what else did I order? Oh yeah, uh, a dry erase board that was gonna be for the pod. I was gonna get that for, for y'all so I can stay more stay more in track. Uh, but I was gonna hang that up on my wall over there and. You know, just stay on track with stuff. But that stuff's still not coming. It's coming like Thursday of next week or something like that. But I did get some books called, one of them called The Richest Man in Babylon. Uh, I seen a lot of rappers and a lot of uh, a lot of people like Charlemagne the God and stuff. When I was watching one of his, uh, one of the Breakfast Club interviews, they was talking about The Richest Man in Babylon. And they was talking about it's really a good success, successful motivational book to read. It's nonfiction, so, so it's all facts in it. So I'm gonna uh, get to reading that. I, I might update y'all on that, and, and like the next pod, I might do that. But I did get that, and I got the Alchemist. Uh, that's another book that's supposed to be, you know, like giving giving lessons and stuff like that. I'll get into that. Like I said, maybe in the next pod. But uh, yeah, some good to happen this week. We'll probably be getting them books and acquiring that. I'm trying to start reading more. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I go. Uh, you know. Oh, um, something good that happened, you in know. In the past week. In the past week, uh, just um, just getting confirmation. Well, not necessarily confirmation, but a little update on some stuff in my life. Just like I um, I got a, a letter in the mail yesterday. I had applied for this job down at Yazoo City for like this corrections officer position. And they had sent me a letter yesterday saying, you know, they're gonna contact me like in the couple, like coming days or weeks or whatever. And so, just I've been working, doing this stuff at Pizza Hut right now, and you know, but I'm getting by. I ain't just gonna say I'm just like struggling because I don't just pay bills and all this kind of stuff. But at the same time, I just feel like I could be doing more and stuff like that. So just getting that confirmation and just staying prayed up out here and just. Getting that, it was just like, you know, like a little blessing for the week. And just keep doing what I'm doing because I know it's going to lead to more down the line. 
Okay, okay, okay. Hey, that make me that make me getting more money, man. That's yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But that correction yeah, officer yeah. stuff, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna be on my Rick Ross. I don't know, man. Be on my Rick Ross. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you up there? Okay, something good that happened. So, let's see. I'm talking about school. So, so due to the due to the ice storm, he was talking about like all the stuff at, at JSU. They start messing up. We didn't have no water. We still had power, but we had no water. Um, let's see what else will happen. And but the, the pressure professor was low. Yeah, water pressure was low. Did y'all low. lights ever go out? No, they they never went out. But stuff was getting stupid up there. Uh, <laughs> People were acting foolish, stuff like that. And then the professors, they didn't want to show any leniency to any of the assignments. So the administration, they stepped in. They were like, hey, um, give these people, give these students. More time. Yeah, give them, a, give them another week to do their assignments. And, you know, the we got that. And I got I got some assignments done. Got some more to do. And I also got a letter in the mail. I got accepted to another honor society. So, you know. Hey. I, hey, I, so, ain't, I ain't know you was in the honor, honor society. So, yeah, man. It's a, it's a, it's a blessing, bro. So, yeah, man. Yeah. I ain't know that, that's bro. My, that's why something good, man. Hey, 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 y'all, hey, y'all good stuff was way, boy, it was way better than mine. Bro. No, man. We all, we all got good stuff. We all, <laughs> we all doing good things, man. All right, so yeah, that that was some good statement. Like I said, uh, that's going to always be on the pod. That's not going nowhere. We always got to, we, we always got to. Give ourselves a pat on the back, you feel me? So something like that, just for getting through the week and everything. But we gonna get into some social media um, subjects, you feel me? Like, hey, Indeed. I know y'all been seeing this stuff on Twitter. These folks is going crazy with that, with this. You had to be here stuff. I'm gonna pop some of them up up on the screen right now uh, for for everybody that's viewing on YouTube. Man, this 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 you had to be there stuff is going crazy on on Twitter. Like I said, I ain't gonna lie, I'm low key getting sick of it already. But it that only but been like a, wait, it ain't even it been a couple. It been it like it been like a day or two, days, and it's it's already going crazy. Like yeah. I seen I seen one that said you had you had to be there, and it had like T Pain and you know like all them early two thousands yeah. folks. Like that stuff cool and everything, but now folks having having stuff like you had to be there, where it's like. In the eighties and stuff, I'm like, bro, like social media was not even out yet. Like, let let's not go crazy with none of that yet, man. You know? I don't know. You, you feel me? My thing with it was, it's like, okay, bro. Again, I say I'm gonna be popping some of these up on the screen. But and yeah. then some of them, it was just like they posting the same stuff, and everybody just yeah. Like, it's like it's it, not like not like retweeting it, yeah. But it's like you just said that. But then you just said the same thing. It's like, right. come on. Bro. That's another thing about social media, man. Everybody, everybody trying to get their little clout. And everybody trying, everybody trying to get their little say so about something, yeah, but sure. but but at the same time, and like nobody's being original with nothing that yeah, they doing. Everybody just doing something for a little. That's a whole nother subject time. though. It is, <laughs> but it's like on the same, on the real though. It's like social media. It ain't nothing but a clout space. Everybody looking for their little drop of success. They little now, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I ain't never did it before. I didn't post it a tweet. And it, oh, we all guilty of it, Hold man. on. Let me see. Let me just go look. Like, we all guilty of it, man. I like, hold on. Hold on. It's just like, it, 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 it's just like Corday said, uh, uh, we all want to be a little Instagram famous, bro. That's yeah, what they I mean, see. ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm just saying. But, like, I got, I got some up there. It ain't got to like a hundred K view of a tweet. So it's not like I I ain't gonna lie, I was feeling myself. I <laughs> think was feeling himself, no count. It's just like it's just like don't let it don't let just cause a couple like these folks giving you likes or giving you views, don't act like you better than me because you just like bro, you still in my same social class, you still making the same money I'm making yeah. if if that. And so don't be coming up to me. Act like I'm supposed to look at you in high favor because of that, bro. That's all, all right. my that's all my stuff be with that social media. Like it's cool, you know. A nigga do be, you know, getting a little teary eye when he see them views just popping. <laughs> like, they, they like me. They like me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. like, don't be, don't let that be your whole life. Don't let that just be like, oh, as long as the, as long as I got their approval, I'm cool. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm on. That's what, that's what I like. This man Godfrey, the social media. This man, I ain't gonna say social media because he don't even he don't even be on all the social medias like that. But this man Godfrey be on. I'm pretty sure this man Godfrey be, be on Twitter the most out of all of us, bro. So I already know you got something to say about this. Okay, this you had to be here thing, bro. Like you got to be there thing, like bro. We were all there. Everybody that's bro, on you know what you know. I don't even want to cut you off though. I don't, I don't even want to cut you off. But this another thing, bro. This this a whole another subject. <laughs> this a whole another subject that's that I'm saying about that you had to be there. 
It's just like it's just like this, bro. Like, okay, keep in mind, I, I, I work at a at an auto place, so it's a lot of older people there that been doing this a long time and stuff like that. This is exactly the same thing that I be saying at work. Okay, so like, let's say, so so I'm born in 1999, which means I'm basically a 2000 baby, low key not, but still. All right, so I be so like my mom been putting me on music. Since I was little, my brother's been putting me on music since I was little. My dad, everybody around me put me on music. If I play something that is not from the early 2000s or up, they're going to be like, what you wow, know about that, that, man? No, I'm saying that. Boy, th this I is the same it. energy. This is the same energy on this uh, right. on this. You had to be there. Stuff. Like, this is the exact never, same. I ain't never, I ain't never um, had it like from no coworkers because usually if I'm listening to music at work, I got my AirPods in. But like sometimes, you know, I be in the car. But like, like something I ain't I, like my dad do it. But like, or it's like if I'm in there with like just an older person in general, it's like if somebody just older than you, they always hit you with the oh, what you know about that young blood? What you know about that? Stay I be, I be broke. I be broke. You, I mean, it's music. If it's good, I'm just, anybody can find in any song. I like even, say we we living in an age where technology well, yeah, I, is king. So I, I ain't mean to cut you off though, guy. I just I just had to. But yeah, don't speak your piece. But bro. I mean, it's like the you had to be there, like, bro. Most of us, we were there. If I'm following you, you are around my I age. Say, bro, you around my age. Science, yeah, you around my age. Or I know you, something like that. So you had to be there. I was there. I'm sitting there. I was there. Yeah, some of that stuff y'all be saying you had to be there for it. You didn't even care about it, then. Mm. So why you care now? Yeah, true. Uh, true. Yeah, man. Like, but the, but listen, I, I I do like what one was um uh, what was it? It was the GameCube, and it was like you had to be there. It had it had Smash Bros. It had Mario Kart. I know about, I know about that PS Two though. PS Two. I have seen the PS Two one too. Oh, I think yeah. I ain't seen the PS Two one. I seen one. They had all the college football games and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Like somebody got it. You had to be there right now. And it's the Spurs and the uh, it's the Spurs and the Heat in the championship. Like, bro, we have all seen that. That, that, bro. that wasn't even like a special final. Well, I, it's key moments in there. Yeah, but it wasn't just like. This the greatest finals ever type stuff. Like, bro, now, you even said that Cavs and Warriors three yeah. one. You you can say that about that. You can say that about probably Kobe. I'm mean, well. Yeah, like you can KG say KG and them beat the Lakers in the finals. You can say that? you can say that about Kobe because because a lot of these folks jumped on Kobe. You know, like in the last year or so, but yeah. you can say that about Kobe because a lot of these folks did not like Kobe before the stuff happened. Mm -hmm. Let's just say that. I mean, I'm just saying that they did not like my boy when he was playing. But Andrew, he, he been he been a long time Lakers fan. He so retired. They they want to praise his name, and it it wasn't even. This is off topic a little bit, but it's just like it's I ain't crazy. mad at the off topic. I ain't mad. It's at it. crazy though. He's he was getting respect. He was getting. I yes, he was. Just, I didn't hear the. He top, had accolades and everything. I was though. saying top three. I didn't hear none of the top three talk. Until really after he died, I was hearing he might be top ten, he might be top five. I was hearing folks like saying Tim Duncan better than him and all this, and I'm just like mm -hmm. big fundamental. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, bro, I'm like, no, I'm like, no. But yeah, nah, yeah. I ain't like that. Then but I'm saying hey, somebody had you. It's an opinion thing, but still, you know. Somebody got you had to be there about uh about freaking what's the name of this game, bro? Oh, about. Oh, that was Among that was two months ago. Oh that we was not like, folks used to play Among Us. You know, used to be there. I about say, like, bro, you can't do that for everything. It's like it's crazy and stuff. It's crazy, y'all. Hey, and if y'all if y'all hear my dog barking in the background, y'all, I'm sorry. He probably hear us, you know, getting heated about this social media and stuff. But hey, it's, it is what it is. But we are gonna move on from this because we are gonna be talking about this forever if we keep on talking about it. All right. But hey. uh all right, so the the next topic I got on the pod is music, and uh, we gonna get into let's get into the Drake talk first. I wanna get into the Drake talk mm. first. Champagne poppy. What Drake do? Certified lover boy. We just um, talking about certified lover boy. I man. mean, if you wanna be honest with it, Drake, where it's at? You said this was coming in like January. Here it is, about to be March, and I still ain't heard. Now, Cameron sent me a snippet yesterday. I ain't gonna lie. If you take your time and it's gonna sound like that, then keep taking your time. Nah. But if you ain't, then where is it? You feel me? Now, nah, obviously, Drake is focus is suffering from the same thing that all these artists is, is suffering from in the technology age with these leaks, man. This man has like five leaks on uh, that's on that's on like circling the 
social media universe and all this stuff right now. I done heard two of them. They both sound fire, and I heard a little baby one. I ain't put y'all on that one. Yet. That one hard heard, too. I heard, I heard a little baby one that, that's hard too. But yeah, man, these these leaks. I'm not gonna say they gotta stop because they gonna happen, bro. Like it's technology. People gonna steal your shit. Like people gonna be mad and all this stuff like that. But I'm not gonna say the leaks gotta stop, I'm, bro. Like Lil I'm, Wayne, oh. Lil Wayne had more leaks than than like all y'all than like all of y'all combined at one point. Like O A and stuff like that. He still dropped all of that stuff. So I'm not seeing the reason why leaks is a bad thing. Like that, thing, if anything, if anything, that just showed that your fans want to hear your music. Bro. My thing about leaks. Is the simple fact of it being, I don't know. I ain't gonna say it all the way depreciates it when it actually drops. I just feel it low key like, does though. I'm saying like I feel like if you leak it, it's like come on, bro. You couldn't wait for me to drop it. But now nah, I ain't gonna hold some of them folks that leak music because some of these artists they be sitting on like gold mines, like millions upon millions streams. I ain't gonna cap. Juice World still got like three hundred like, songs. Like, 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 he still got. They got like a, well, but. Yeah, so it's like folks. It's like Juice World got hella music. It's like snippets and unreleased tracks that I done heard. That I know if the artist actually put it out, that's gonna be like one of their best hits. But they'll sit on it and never drop it. And it's like, like with Cardi, he got songs like Cancun and all these other snippets. He got Skeleton that. man. If Skeleton don't come out by the end of twenty twenty one, he really needs to come out with the deluxe. But anyway, I think yeah, he lying about this stuff. I don't, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about Cardi like for real. Yeah, but like I said, it's a bunch of leaks and stuff that's out there. That if they these artists just drop them, these rappers and stuff just drop their leaks, then shoot, they might never have to drop another album again because they just so hard. But it's like I feel on the other side too. It's like when you drop them, it's like. It's like it depreciated when it come out. It's like you can't, you can't, you can't go out there. I ain't gonna lie. If, to if Uzi, if Uzi would have came out with, uh, if it wasn't no, if it wasn't no leak for Kobe before uh, Eternal Kobe Take or, come out, or Myron. yeah, that stuff would have been way harder when it came. Because it was like it's like when he get into it, it's like okay, okay. But then he waited so long, and he got a lot of snippets and, and leaks done, too that he be putting I, on IG. And stuff. we done heard so many, we done heard these leaks over and over. So it really kind of take away from the first first time hearing value of it. It's like when you first hear it, you just like you like, yeah, I done heard it. It don't beat when you first hearing the album for the first time, the song for the first. I remember when I first heard before they played it to death and just made it just. Bro, so we were supposed to be talking about Drake too. <laughs> and he's like, who we were getting all time? It's between the Drake though. Yeah. I mean, Travis Scott too. But like, when I first heard Sicko Mode mm-hmm. and I just listened to it and then like, because Travis didn't put like who was featured on what song. So then you just hear Drake, you like, damn. That's Drake. And then, you know, the beat start picking up and it's going crazy. I'm just saying. It is. I'm just saying. It's just just, just really a vibe and it's really turned when you don't know what to expect from a song as compared to when it leaked out. And then, like, when you go back and hear on the album when they finally put it out, it's like, it don't hit the same. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, I don't know. Leaks is a it's a it's a blessing and a curse at the same time. Cause sometimes they ain't never gonna drop the song, so it's like God, I'm praying somebody leak it out so I can <laughs> listen to it. But at the same time, it's like man, I don't want to listen to the leak, and then they end up dropping it, and then it just take away from the appeal of me actually uh, hearing it on their actual project or whatever, a single, or whatever they do. It. I look, you feel like every artist. I'm not gonna say every artist should do that because every artist is not is not worthy of doing that. But yeah, when when artists don't put don't put they um they features on the actual album, it it does add to the first experience. But um that's a blessing and a curse too, because I remember they said Sway Lee was mad that he didn't get uh no kind of real no kind of real like recognition from uh from the sicko mode, and he was a part of sicko mode too, even though he said like a couple vocals on it. So he said he was saying he was kind of uh, mad about that. I remember. I'm just saying, hey, he. I understand. He but, gave he gave his contribution to that song too. You know, so future. But yeah, you got anything to say about Drake though, bro? I mean, Drake, you know, but he, he did say he was going through some stuff 
in January. So he said it's gonna be delayed a little bit. So I understand. Yeah, he broke his leg or his ankle. Yeah, something movie. like that. But that don't got nothing to do with recording. But I ain't. <laughs> but I ain't it kind of it kind of does. Like if your mental frame ain't right, you can't record. You can't put oh, out yeah. quality music. Yeah. And then, and then people people love overhyped albums. That's what that's what everybody. This is what said. Godfrey love talking about. about God, this is what Godfrey people, love talking about. This go ahead, go listen, ahead. I'm gonna let you go. This this is what everybody felt. When you overhype an album, it's never gonna be to your expectations. Because what album? What album was that? Okay, let's talk about Lil Uzi uh, Vert album. Hey, hold on! Don't do that. Why? Oh, okay, okay. Lil, okay. When they Lil Uzi rock, was up to the expectations, but it was not what I it wanted. Wasn't first... just, it wasn't just what I expected yeah. to hear, but it wasn't like I didn't overhype it. I was, I was pleased by what I heard. Now when he dropped. Lil Uzi vs. the World 2. Now, that stuff now added I was to like, it. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah he wasn't stupid. Now, with Drake, I don't necessarily just hype up. I, like, I love listening to Drake, but I'm not just going to hype up one of his. Like, like when he dropped Scorpion. Everybody was talking about Scorpion so trash. Scorpion garbage. Bro, I Scorpion is a good piece. It's a good piece. It might not just be It might not just be take care of views or any of that. It's, let me see. It's the middle of the pack. Yeah. On all his, on yeah. all his work, it bridges the it's gap. Not, it's not just terrible, but if you want to know who Drake is, you can get something out of. It. He's still talking. He's still talking to the folks on there. He got songs for everybody on there. Like, like he got them little slow jams, like finesse on there. He got them little, uh, little cruising songs, like Sandra's Rose on there. He got the hype songs, like us. Uh, uh, never don't stop a while ago. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. And so, hey. I don't know. But, no. But, listen. But, okay. Didn't Lucy Uzi Vert drop two albums? Like, he dropped one album. It, was basically, it was basically two albums. Yeah, though. it was two albums. Yeah, so the first one, first one, people were like, man, I saw on Twitter. I said, I said, everybody, man, this ain't what it's supposed to be. This ain't supposed to be. Like, bro, nah, you overhyped it. It wasn't the fact that it, <laughs> you this ain't what it's supposed to be. I don't know if it's necessarily overhyped. He just didn't put the snippets that but, he promised but, on there. But, hold up, hold up. When the deluxe dropped, what'd y'all say? Y'all were like, bro. This is great. This is phenomenal. And I can agree. The I first one. I the, didn't have a problem with the first the Eternal Take, though. I thought that was good, too, though. I don't know. The, a lot, a lot listen, of the first one. The first one, they didn't think it was good. Then when some, the lesson dropped out, they were like, man, where was this at the first you, time? If you wanted to say something like that, you could say, you could put a whole lot of red on there. Because I'm not going to lie. When I first heard a whole lot of red, I was like, bro, what is this? But, like, over time, it's like a. I know I'm going to get flat probably for it, but it's like more of an experimental piece like when ASAP Rocky dropped Testing or when Kanye dropped Yeezus or any of those. It's like an experimental piece. It's not supposed to be for everybody. It's an acquired taste. Now, a lot of people going to be like, man, this stuff garbage. It ain't nothing but mumble rap type stuff. And I mean, I'm not going to sit up there and argue because, I mean, he is mumbling a lot on that bitch. He overusing that baby voice to me. But I mean, like, it's just like... It's just like you either like it or you don't. It's simple as that. You either gonna end up liking the project after you listen to it a couple of times, or you gonna hear it that one time this garbage. I'm not gonna listen to it no more. And then it's just yep. that. And you gotta respect people's opinions. It's like you know you gonna like what you like. Like people be talking about how good uh, what's his name Young Blue is. I don't really care for him, but they'll be like, oh bro, you listen to Cardi, you listen to. This and that and the third, like, you listen to some of Almighty J stuff. So why? How is your musical taste any better than mine? I'm not saying mine's is better. I'm just saying I don't like that dude. Like I don't really care for. I don't like his voice. But they'll be like, you like Cardi voice. So I'm like, I mean, I guess so. But it's you just know, a different taste. It's just good. a different. Uh, or whatever, so just different taste thing, bro. We were we talked about Drake for like five, 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 six minutes of the pod, but hey, it's cool though because we got a nice little conversation out of it. But uh, man, we might even have had to have a, a, a whole music podcast <laughs> anyway. But yeah, the, the other music uh topic I got for y'all is the boy Bobby Schmurder then got out of jail. Y'all feel it. Now he was in jail for seven years, y'all. Like I ain't gonna lie, it felt long. It felt way longer. I ain't gonna lie. Cause when he got in jail, we was in junior high. I think it was in ninth grade. It I think we got in jail. Like no, I know it was in ninth grade. I remember listening to Bobby yeah, bitch in ninth grade. I just remember listening to that hot nigga, that hot boy. For the, yeah. if you know, you know. Now that's something y'all can be like, where he always was at? Cause yeah, where was he? That was playing the hot boy. That wasn't playing hot nigga up in the school. <laughs> but yeah, you know, so I mean, like with Bobby. It's kind of crazy. Like, he a real nigga, though, on the real. Because, like, he 
He, he stood. Took that charge, yeah, he stood he on. He took that charge. He knew what he did was wrong. He 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 ain't fold on nobody. And he just, you know, owned up to it. He was like, yeah, yeah, it's all me. And went down. He did his time, and they let him out. So you, I got a question for y'all after this too. Okay, my thing How about is, Bobby. In a way. I nah, I, this is gonna be a hot take. It's gonna be kind of controversial. Well, I this what I was really asking. Is, my, is you looking for his his, my, his my, new music? I mean, I went back and listened to uh like the one EP he got on Apple Music, and I ain't really got a problem with it. Like 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 I was really originally going on there just to listen to Bobby Bitch and Hot Nigga, but then it was some other songs I listened to. And I was like, damn, Bobby can kind of spit a little bit. So it's like maybe like when he dropped his new music. I'm gonna, you know, start listening to it, start messing with it, cause like, um, Bobby, I in a way, prison was good for him, cause prison was keeping his name kind of hot. Like they'd be like, "Free my nigga Bobby," and then you know, like certain rappers would come. That out, is like, one person that like, they did not let. Like, like six nine, and it's probably plenty of other Migos is doing freestyles and saying "Free Bobby" and stuff. But I don't know how people forget about this, but the Migos got a. If y'all need after y'all listen to this, y'all need to go listen to the computers freestyle by the Migos. Boy, I remember that. I used to stay listening. I don't know how that fell off because that thing hard. But I yo, remember that. I remember taking so, off yo, part on that. So yeah, but I feel like Jail they did not let nobody forget Bobby. It, it was either just free Bobby or you know they had the memes going way through the hat up in the air. And when he finally got out, there was like the hat coming back down to earth and stuff. And so yeah, so I feel like prison had. His name, like, just always in the streets. It was always some way in some form during the year you was going to hear about that boy Bobby Smurda. And it didn't hurt that he had two bop. Well, he really got three because of computer, his feature on computers. I think that I'm trying to prove it. All. You know what I'm talking about. So, it's like, it's like, um, he just needs to make sure that he capitalize off it and come out with some hard stuff for the people. Like, but as they say, he 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 was talking about moving into real estate, bro. Mm. The way the they say he was talking about moving into real estate with Quavo, and Quavo told him, "You just got out, man. Chill out." So they trying to get on Quavo because he said uh, because he was telling him to chill out instead of doing what he wanted to do. So wait, Quavo telling him not to do real estate? He didn't. Now, now this this why social media is taking it and carrying it. He did not say. That, that, that he didn't want him to do this stuff. He just said, chill, bro. You just got out. And he was talking about, look, look, you can make all this money from real estate. I've been reading this in jail. I've been doing this. I've been learning this. And he just told him, yo, chill out. That's, that's But I that's like what, that mindset, though. Bro. Um, yeah, it's good. I like that mindset because, like, you like, okay, I'm out of jail. I know what I want to do. I got what I want to plan. And real estate is really good to get in because, oh, I'm not going to get into. Especially but, if you already got money and you can already buy land. Yeah, we yeah. buy land. I'm not finna, I'm not going to say, oh, the market going to crash. But people be wary because interest rates are rising. And stuff like that, you know the. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, yeah. what? The uh, what race? Anyway, I'm like I said, I'm not too financial. I'm not finna, I'm not finna go topic. crazy in here, but just just say the market, the housing market is very, it's been become very unstable. So just be careful what you do. My thing with it. Hey, I, hey, y'all, hey, y'all, look to government for that financial advice, dude. <laughs> All right. My thing with it is though. My thing, I kind of see what Quavo's saying. Think about it like this: Bobby Bennett. Yeah, I can see what he's saying. Well, he's I'm saying just, no, let me let me just say it like. He was in jail, what, six, seven years? Yeah. So maybe he's saying it like, look, bro, you just got out. I get you want to do all this and that. But how about, you know, just saying take time out. You know, you can post a picture with his kids or whatever. Just yeah. take time, you know, just rekindle with them. They ain't seen you in seven years. So, like, just just build a relationship up with them. You got plenty of time. To, well, I ain't going to say he got plenty of time. We don't know how much yeah. or whatever. But still, like, you know, just try to take a little time to just spend with them. You just got out. And then, like... Like a week or two, maybe like a, a month in, just, you know, get ready to start on what you're going to do to get your money back up mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff. That's what I say about that. And then he he also, he he gave social media the most the most meaningless headline that I've ever seen in, in the last forever on social media. Bro, I was, I was seeing on World Star and, and all these stuff like that. They was making a headline out of this man, Bobby Schmurda, declining a drink at the club. Like I was like, bro, like, why is this news? Bro? Oh, like, Bobby was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna take yeah, that. Yeah, I'm not about to drink that. Bro. I got like, my green tea right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, like I was, I was trying to figure out, like, why is this news, bro? Like, why yeah. we, do, do we not have anything else to talk about than Bobby Smarter declining a drink at the club, bro? Like, come on, man. Bro. I don't know. I guess I don't know. I guess maybe before he got locked up, 
he was just a party and stuff, and maybe he just, you know, trying to change his life around and stuff. But, I mean, maybe that's a salute to his sobriety or something. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, ain't never just see him drinking anyway, but, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I, I just mean, didn't you know, see why you know, that was a you know, you know, You know the media going to pick up on any little thing. Somebody Anything, did. bro. Especially if you got a little clout to your name, they're going, you doing this, you doing that. But Kanye West sneeze wrong. It's just, and, and then, so... It's just like it is what it is. I ain't even too much prior to today. But I'm glad Bobby is trying to yeah, 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 grow his are. money. Because yeah, most rappers most rappers are not as rich as you think they are. Oh know? yeah, they just they get money off shows and yeah, shoot, I mean pandemic, a lot of these niggas is fucked. Oh yeah, some some of these rappers are scamming people because I had seen something on uh, on TikTok and this dude was like he he doing this rappers rapper like, Okay, I'll do a future for you. He said, Okay, I sent you the money. The rapper never responded. I'm like, what the that's, heck? Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he shiesty for that. Yeah, these rappers going out bad. Bro. Man, he shiesty for that. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, uh, I ain't gonna lie. That that seems like that, that that seems like that was the best topic we had all day. I ain't gonna cap. Well, other than the social media, because we was going pr- pretty hard for the, you had to be there. But yeah, that's the music segment of the show. You know, we, we just we just gonna cover a little bit a little bit of things that we see in, in music at the time. But now I got something to talk to y'all about. I know y'all see it on the screen. Now, they see that they see everything on the screen that I'm talking about, except for the last thing because uh, that's gonna be a surprise uh, thing. That the thing that I'm gonna talk to them about. But how y'all feel about that fourteen hundred dollars stimmy? Now they said the house passed it, but okay, it I'm I'm I'm, I'm not good with this political stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it's getting sent to the Senate. They gonna say yes or no or not. Now. Now I ain't trying to get political or nothing like that, but I'm gonna just ask y'all if y'all if y'all was getting a fourteen hundred, what you spending on? I want Godfrey to go first on this one because we've been going first on all this stuff. Okay, uh, if, I'm, if I'm getting fourteen hundred, I'm gonna put my bank. Account, I'm gonna put my saving account because there's nothing really I just wanna. I, I'm fiending for it. There's nothing I really like want 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 right now. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put my savings account. Uh, to be honest, I ain't, I really ain't got nothing much. Y'all all right, it. it's like it's it's like three things that I wanna. You know, okay, but the thing about it is, if I get the stimmy, it's just going to add to the money that I already got. I'm not trying to flex or nothing like that, but it, <laughs> they, uh, they uh, always say I'm trying to flex, but I'm just trying to add to the stuff I got. Uh, so, I'm going to use the stimmy to get some uh, some tires for my truck, you feel me? I'm going to just get the essentials, the tires for my truck. And I'm gonna spurge on myself with one thing. I'm getting them Jordan fours that, that that I did not get. I might have to pay resale for them things, but I'm getting them things, bro. Like like I talked about them things for too long. Like all my friends know, I talked about them Jordan fours for too long not to get them. So I'm getting them Jordan four. Uh, I think they call it like taupe haze, something like that. You know, the brown, black, black and red Jordan fours. If I remember, I'm gonna put them on. I'm gonna put them on the pod for y'all that's watching on YouTube. But I'm getting them. I'm getting the tires. And uh, let's see, what else? I want one more thing. I'm, I'm thinking about one more thing. I might uh, just get like, oh yeah, a new bed set. I want uh, I want a new mattress and a new what's the thing below the mattress? The bed spring or something? Yeah, box, box spring. Yeah, I want I want all new bed stuff. That's hey, bro, you need to invest in one of those, um, them egg shit. What they call it? It's like an egg something. It's like a little mat you put, like after you put like while you putting your oh, mattress topper. I guess, but it's like it make your stuff softer, bro. That thing, I ain't got one for my bed. Now I had one for my one. I think I had one back in the day. Boy, I, that used to be some of the best sleep I ever got. I used to be sleeping like, like, like time up, cause <laughs> hey, that stuff used to go dumb. But yeah, dumb, dumb. yeah. Uh, All right, so what you getting with the stimmy, bro? Fourteen, hey, fourteen hundred. You know how I be, so I'm really trying to save it, cause like. My, that man, you're not gonna say this. To me, I bro. promise, I'm gonna try to save you. My, <laughs> my other bros over there, uh, Logan and all them, they talking about planning a trip to Miami. Ooh. So I'm like, so I'm like, man, if we get the stimmy, I'm just gonna put that in my savings. Well, I'm put, I'll put like the th- the K in my savings. And I'm gonna keep the four hundred in myself, and I ain't gonna act like I ain't gonna spend none of this shit. So I'm gonna put the K in there. So like when they, when if we get real serious about the doing this, I'm gonna. I'm going to just, you know, let that build up with my other checks and stuff and get it done. Because, like, right now, I mean, I probably got a lot of the clothes. I'm more of a winner, nigga. Because I'm, yes. I'm like hoodies, sweatpants, and all that. I probably need to get some jeans. I don't never really wear I that. do need to get some really, jeans, bro. I don't really care for jeans, bro. Jeans really constrict me. I feel like I'm loose and free in my... 
my other stuff. So it's like I probably get some jeans or something. I probably I don't really even need no shirts. I got shirts in the closet. I was cleaning my closet out the other day. Ain't even open the door. I done gave some of that stuff to Ashton, and some of that stuff it's like. Man. I just got it sitting on the couch over there because I'm not going to wear it no more. I was just cleaning my room and I had, I had like six or seven so, shirts that's still in the plastic. I'd probably anymore. get some shoes or something. Okay. I, I, them Raging Bulls, them come out later. They come out in April, I think. Well, I want them so bad. Raging Bulls? What color? Yeah, they like all, red like all red fire. Oh. And I always wanted them grape fires too. I don't know why, but I want some of them. I had bought some, uh, them Grateful Dead. Crocs the other day, uh, so yeah, I know he, he really a hater on Crocs, but hey, hey, Crocs is I'm not, really the wave, no count. I'm not standing for the Crocs, y'all. I'm the sorry, Crocs is the wave. Oh, yeah, I'm getting some Crocs. No, I'm, I'm not, nigga. That's I'm not, really the wave. I'm not standing for the Crocs. The y'all. Crocs is really the wave, like bro. You can put them hoes in sport. You can be regular, like, and then like it's like, bro. My dad be on my head. Wait, what did you, what you did you just say? You put them in sport. Yeah, he don't know. He don't know. What is that? He don't know. He don't know. It's a he don't show. Know. Look it up. He don't know. He don't know. Anyway, so yeah, it's like, bro, it's what like, sport? I'm really good with everything, so I ain't just, like, I ain't gonna lie. When it was just stuff I was seeing, I, I really had got better. They don't believe me, but I done got better, because it was usually I was just seeing stuff, and I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. But now I look at, I didn't put, and I put that lock on my stuff for, certain, for a reason, because sometimes I go to buy stuff, Forget I got the lock on, and I go buy it and be like, it, uh, oh, yeah. so if, y'all, if y'all don't know what he's talking about, Andrew got a lock on his car to where he has to unlock it to buy stuff. So, like, so, sometimes yeah. when it decline, I, like, unless I'm just in it the just, stove. It just give you, like, a reality check. Yeah, like, like, sometimes, now, if I'm just in the stove, I'm going to go ahead and unlock it because she not already rang it up and all that. I ain't going to just get through all that. Well, it just depends. But, like, if I'm at home, where I usually am anyway, and I'm just online shopping, and it declined because of that. I would be like, damn. I, I reflect on it sometimes. I just be like, damn. Do I really need this? Like I remember before I had just got this case. I had um. Man, you was going off subject again. Bro. I know. Bro. <laughs> you no, said like, you gonna talk. spend the stimulus on, bro. It was just like, bro. It was just like, dang. I really got to change this. Oh, I'm going to be broke all my life. I just don't want to be broke all my life. True. And I ain't really even started. I ain't got a credit card or nothing yet. I probably need to get into that just to I build up my credit. Man. I don't know. I ain't but like, credit st- card. I mean, don't you got to get one to like build up your credit to get a house and all that kind of yeah, stuff? You gotta yeah, get, you got to get a You got to do that, don't you? Yeah. I'm like, going to do that later. That's for them. Well, no, I ain't about you getting a car. Cause you can get a car without the credit card. I mean, I yeah, but you, you're going to have to pay full out. If you want to, they're going to look at you. You got to go to your you bank pay, and do it. You didn't pay full out, though, did no, you? No, I didn't pay full out of my truck. I, I got uh, I got a loan from from uh, the people I, I, I pay my car note to. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, I'm just saying, like, it's just like. But if you got good credit, though, you can get it. But if you got good credit, though, they going to give you. Um, a higher limit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah so it's just like. I need to get one, but like it's like at the same time, I just don't want to go into getting one and having them bad habits. So I, so I won't be broke. And tr- cause I remember I used to be getting broke in my checking account and going over and pulling money out of my savings, which I shouldn't be doing either. Mm-hmm. So it's like I'm trying to just find a balance on what I need to do. So all in all, what is you spending the stimmy on, bro? The stimmy, the four hundred I'm gonna keep. I'm really just gonna uh, go find some shoes. I'm probably okay. gonna go to Goat and find like a couple pairs of shoes, no cap. Yeah, and, and pay and pay some damn resale for. I do not want to pay resale for them shoes. Nah, if it's just too high, I'm not gonna pay. Nah, but it's okay, like, I got a question. The resale for the shoes I want is three thirty. So oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want them. What's, I'm what's, what's, your, what's your max? Like, I'm not going above this. You talking about um, just shoes? Yeah, just shoes. I'm, I'm shoe, not even gonna say. I'll probably pay. I ain't gonna cap if I don't get it on like the actual site. Like if I ain't paying retail for it, I'll I gotta probably, get resale for them shoes. I'll bro. probably pay about uh, I pay two fifty to two seventy five. Two seventy five is my max. Okay, but that's, that's really when I start getting some money, money because yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. do it right yeah, now. Yeah. But like if I ever was like when I start making some money, I'll probably go about two seventy five. If I can't get it on retail, I I just don't see me wearing a shoe. That I just need that's over two seventy five, but that's me. Man, this fool about to say about five thousand. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna just say this. This is all I'm gonna say. Cause I was lying to myself at the beginning when I first started working and, and get a little bit of money. I said two hundred dollars is gonna be my 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 um my limit on what I'm gonna spend on a shoe. 
I already exceeded that with them uh with them three fifties I got back there. They was two twenty. So then I was like, all right, so two twenty gonna be my limit. And then when these Jordan fours came out. They was 200 off the bat, and I didn't get them, and I want them things, so I'm going to have to pay resale, which is going to be like 300 So, I'm going to just say, bro, if it's something I want, I'm not spending over 500 though. But if it's something I want, I'm going to have to get it, bro. That's okay. what I'm saying. Not, oh, but but 500 I can't do that, though. Okay. What you, what's your limit then? My limit? Uh, dude, they shoes. But my limit going to be 220 because I, yeah. I want the 350, 350 so... So, and we're gonna move forward to the next to last topic. But before I do that, I just wanna uh I just wanna thank y'all for watching the video. All of y'all that's watching the video this far in, thank you. Uh, you know, and I know this is a big switch from from the content I usually make. I'm gonna keep on making uh you, you know vlogs and keep on making dread video. Dread I, I enjoy making the vlogs and the dread updates. I enjoy making every piece of content that I put out, but I just wanna expand, you know, like a lot of people say 4K is is not a lot to have on YouTube, but man, I just feel like this 4K is a good 4K, you know. And I want to get to 5K by the end of this year, so y'all go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. But Bye. thank y'all for watching. You can't it. see me. I just want to thank y'all for watching it before the end because you know I know a lot of y'all ain't gonna make it all the way to it. Might end up being an hour, y'all. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah. Mm. All right, let's get to the next to last topic, which is in relationships. Mm. Whether, whether you are a man or a female, you male, a female, a girl. if you're a boy you're or a, a girl, girl, if you're a boy or a girl, what is your deal breaker? Now, I'm talking about, I'm not going to say if you already in a relationship, because if it's a deal breaker, you're probably going to deal with it if you're in a relationship, I'm right? Say I'm already all right, so, all right, so if, you, if, if you're in the talking stage, what's a deal breaker? And, and, and what I mean by deal breaker is if you're talking to this boy or girl, What's one thing that they could say or do or you peep that you is not going like you not going to want to talk to them no more or like or like be around them? You got to be one. All right. Yeah, one deal right, breaker. I go first. You, you like going to go first? Yeah, I feel like I'm going a little rant right here. It's not intended to be a rant. I was about damn, to say like, like let's keep got, it. Let's I keep it. Got, it's like okay, my thing is do not and I repeat. Let me get up in the camera for this one. Do not be trying to ghost me, all right? If you you either gonna want to talk to me, on my life, on my okay. My yeah. thing yeah. about it is, bro. I feel like, <laughs> I feel <laughs> like it's like it's like, bro. You know, let's just be honest. Men do it and women do it too. We yes. look at each other. You see how they looking. You you probably gonna call them too and just see how they sound or find some videos that they don't post on their social media or something and see how they sound. You be like, ooh, he cute. Or she fine, this, all that, and the third. So don't be, don't start up a conversation with me and then we actually start connecting a little bit and then, like, I keep texting you and then you just cut it off. You either know, like, no, okay, when I say cut it off, it ain't like you cut it off and then don't pick it up again because then I'm going to just know, like, okay, she probably ain't just feeling me. Don't cut it off and then... A couple of days later, um, pick it back up, and we start talking again. You do the same stuff. I don't like that, bro. That's not. Yes. I don't know what it is. Like I don't understand why people do that. But it's like, bro, you either messing with me or you not, and you you playing with my emotions, and playing with my emotions like playing with my money. I don't like that. So you either for me or you ain't. So don't be doing all this. I'm with you one day. I'm not with you either in or you out. That's how that's how I feel about it. I don't like that ghost and stuff. And then it's just like, it's like when I leave, you wanna you wanna come back, come back. It's yeah. like with bro. It's like what Garfield said the other day. Like if you post, you you can't you ain't gotta post the girl's face. You can post her damn ankle or something. A girl that like you uh got some feelings for you. She gonna swipe up on your stuff. Or she gonna, it's just gonna pop up out the blue. They're gonna be, ooh, uh, who is that? Nah, this and that and the third. And they wanna head, be possessive and stuff. In my then, head, like, in my mind, I just wanna be like, why do you get, what, what that man, uh, what that man, uh, academic, why are you here? This ain't got nothing to do with you. So it's like, bro, why do you care? Cause you, you, you already don't want me no way. Now you see somebody trying to apply pressure. Now you wanna, uh, talk about something. Oh, let me, like, it's like, it's like these folks just be, it's like they, you trying to hook you back in like it's fishing or something. I don't understand. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that for I for I really just set it off and like I'm cleaning the teeth or something. I want you to go, guy. I want to go there. You want me to go? I, know, uh, I, I need to think a little bit more because I I made the notes for the pie, but I ain't even thought of like what's my deal breaker for real. Deal breaker for But me. do you have yours? I mean, I can I can call. Something. All right, Talk go ahead, man. Go ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Um, deal breaker for me, it'll probably be. I don't know. It's not. I don't know. For, for me, it'll probably be you know lying or just not lying, telling. Yeah. Why did not tell me the full truth? Because I mean, we at an age. We all at an age. We're like, bruh. Yeah, we all in our twenties, y'all. In case y'all don't know, yeah, so yeah, we don't. Hey, hey. I mean, some people do still play games in their twenties, but come on, man. Like, I'm not trying to. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. not. What you, it's it's too late for too hard to get. Okay. What you want? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, from the person you talking to. Mm-hmm. So it's like. Mm. But go ahead. It's uh yeah, lying. We're like we too old, man. Like if you if you don't if you don't mention no more, then just tell me that. Because, yeah, I, 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 because yeah. it's it's to a point where we're over we're over, we're already over. We went through the little high school stage. Of, oh yeah, I'm just gonna keep playing them. Like being toxic, it isn't cool. It isn't fun. It isn't. It is something you just play around with because. There's some crazy people in this world that will really harm you for playing with their feelings. Like, they will yep. murder you for playing with their feelings. We're playing for you. I know somebody the other day got shot because he was playing with two girls. Like, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, like you can't you can't do that because somebody's going to find out and somebody's going to tell you. And, and somebody's going to tell them. And then, is it happen? And your life is in danger now. Yeah. So, so what you, you said... Uh, ghosting. Ghosting. You said lying. Yeah. What's your word? Man, I still can't even think of mine for real. Just bro. say the first like, thing that come off the top of your dome, bro. Okay, you okay. A, a deal breaker in, in a relationship of my of of uh, some I'm doing would have to be like uh, making me okay. Yeah, okay, making me feel like man. I don't, man, bro, I ain't try, bro. I said I was gonna be vulnerable on the pod. Bro. I'm not trying to be vulnerable on the pod. Bro, about you don't know. Bro, just, just, just say what you gotta say. Well, okay, bro. okay. A deal breaker with me in a relationship is making me not feel like I can say whatever I want to you. To okay. Me. So basically, not can, being comfortable. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, so like, like you can't be you. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Yeah. If 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 I feel like I can't be myself, I'm a dead the whole the, the whole situation like like all together. Yeah, if it, it yeah. like like if I feel like I can't talk to you. About whatever I don't want to talk to you about nothing. You feel me? Uh, like I just feel like people should be able to. A lot of people can't can't uh can't be in other people's shoes. You feel me? So like, and, and I'm one of those people that can like. If you telling me about anything, I'm gonna think about it. If it's in my life, you know, like if you telling me that you that you that you going through things with your parents, I'm gonna think about stuff I didn't went through with my parents, and I'm gonna tell you that. Or if you telling me about about uh, things that you just going through mentally, I'm gonna say, well, well, how would I feel if I was feeling that way? And I'm gonna attack that, you know, with the way that I'm thinking. But uh, yeah, that's what that that would be a big deal breaker for me, is if you don't make me feel comfortable. And that's not even exactly with relationships. Like that's with everything like if i'm not comfortable like i'm obviously comfortable around these two i'm comfortable around like 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 maybe five or six more people and if you're not that then i'm just a little bit distant to you and i don't even try to do that but yeah a deal breaker for me would have to be uh making me not feel comfortable to talk to you or tell you whatever because you gonna I'm, I'm afraid you're gonna judge me and all this stuff like that so yeah. Hey, man, <laughs> word of the wife. If she can watch wrestling with you, she can do anything with you. No man, count. Say. Don't let her tell you good. If she just act like she can put up with it, she a goat. You better lock her up, my nigga. Lock her up, man. No yeah, count. yeah. No if you can watch wrestling, if you can watch WWE with your girl, man, get her, bro. You know. Oh, yeah. But hey, we gonna move to the mystery section of the episode. Mm-hmm. Every episode is gonna have a mystery section where it's something that moi. Has came up with uh, uh, in his head, but Andrew kind of helped me with this one because it's the first episode of the pod, so he kind of know it's something he said earlier today, but he probably don't like remember. But anyway, what's something that's changed since quarantine? Oh. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll, I'll go first since I already got my. I'll let y'all think. Yeah, I mean, I already, y'all got, got yours. All right, I'm gonna go first on this one though. Movies, bro. Movie theaters. I do not, bro. Bro, I have not told nobody about this, but. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. If it's a new movie that came out or something, I do not want to watch that thing on my TV in here, bro. I want to go to the movies and see it. I'm tired of not being able to go to the movies. I'm sorry, I do not, bro. Um, 
I know I know you can still go to movies out here in Jackson. Like the movies are still open. Oh, that's fine. Open. I went out there with her yesterday. Yeah, like the movies are still open and everything. I, I know that. But bro, if it's a new movie that came out, like uh, we supposed to be watching watching uh, Judas and the Black Messiah or, or something like that. If it's something that's coming out, I want to see it at the movies. I want to see. I want to hear everything. I want to. I want to see everything on, on on the big old screen. That's just one thing that to change. I I want to be able to go to movie theaters comfortably again. That's that's like one thing. Man, I got a couple of them things. For one, my hair. Cause boy, y'all already know me. I be I be way guy one day. I had a twist the next day. And shoot, I just do something or whatever. But boy, these <laughs> dreads, these dreads, boy, I'm telling you. That's a this is the best investment I've ever made. I didn't put them over to the other side, y'all. All y'all people that did see my content, I put them to the other side. Godfrey was supposed to come to the other side, but that boy, did. that boy, that boy, way you got no. But Godfrey had more hair than 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 any of us. I was about to say it was either him or Jordel, but shoot, hey, I ain't gonna lie. All I do now, I wake up, I I untie my do rag, I oil my hair up, and then I'm out the door. And it's yeah, just like watching the It's pod, just like man. man. That stuff, and then when it grows some more, oh, you ain't gonna tell me nothing. Yeah, I'm letting the folks be having on Instagram, man. Wait till these things lock up. <laughs> Wait till they lock up. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. I ain't gonna lie though. When I first got them, man, I was inclined to work on it. I had them little twisting. You gotta go through that though. They was on my ass. They you gotta go through them. They were knocking my head off and everything. I was like, damn, y'all. I can't stand y'all. I like buddy in there howling at these niggas like fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. so, I'm telling y'all that doc, we gotta do something about, thing, about buddy barking. I don't know. Like. My thing is, I, I, it's my hair, and then it's just like, I guess just like accepting the fact that I don't know. I guess like the way we socialize, like before this, you know how you know how Natalie was just saying like you know getting the test, getting tested and stuff. I mean, I feel like we. Our little group, we just responsible enough to not just get into no situation like that. If you got some, you know, just stay at home. If you feeling a certain type of way, just stay at home. I just, it's just crazy. It, it's just crazy just thinking about how we do stuff now. We gotta have masks on while we hanging out and stuff and just doing stuff like that. And just, I don't know. It's just weird. And just like, I don't know. We low key used to it now. Though. We used to it now, but. It, Looking back at it, if we were just like talking to our 2019 self, uh, early 2020, wouldn't nobody just be thinking we just have to wear masks? Like, it's just gonna be like when this stuff finally over, we gotta take them off, we're gonna be like, damn, that's crazy. Cause you just gonna be in such a norm of just slapping a mask on your face every morning uh, before you go into work or when you go out somewhere. It's just gonna be like, damn, I ain't gotta wear that mask no more. But it's like, you wouldn't even think of, you wouldn't even thinking like that when it first got popped up. At first, I ain't gonna even lie to you. I thought this was gonna be like Ebola. I thought it was gonna be like like a couple people got that shit anyway, bro. and then they shut it down. I didn't think we were gonna have to do all this. It's just like crazy because it didn't change like a lot of stuff we watch, like with basketball over the past season. Just like no fans there. It's like a bubble and niggas in there like wrestling. It's like virtual screen, virtual fans and stuff, and football ain't nobody there at certain stadiums, and then the ones that's in stadiums they can't pack it out. So it's just like it's just like, man, I feel like I'm gonna just say this for me because I'm like a sports fan, like a fan of like certain sports, like basketball, football and stuff, and then I like wrestling and all that kind of stuff. It's like. Them moments, like right now, while we just still in this stuff, they ain't gonna hit like they used to. Cause like, imagine it like this. Say we was in the pandemic during the 3-1 series between the Warriors and the Cavs. That would not hit the same LeBron blocking Iguodala if, if it was a virtual crowd as compared to the whole, you know, Oracle Arena in there. So it's just like certain events just ain't gonna feel as genuine or as just like emotional as they would as as it would I feel like this championship the Lakers just won would have been more emotional if it was fans in the Staples Center because keep in mind Kobe died the year before and so they was basically dedicating the championship to him we all knew that that was Anthony Davis first championship and I can imagine for guys who was like their first championship their first taste of like the final it would be more emotional being able to have your friends and family watch you win the championship 
as compared to you just around your teammates. It, not saying that it, it wouldn't be most because y'all made the journey together, but it's like those folks that grew up with you and watched you develop into the player or person you is now, it's like you did it for them too, but you did it for yourself, but you did it for them in a way too. So it's just like, yeah, it's like that. This okay. made me going off the rails, bro. Bro, I, I just, be, I just, be, I mean, it be on my heart. The qu- what was the question again? The question see, is, see, like you never got it. Like, the question is, what's what what something that changed in your life? In your life since oh, my life. Since okay, um, I don't know. Oh, look, I don't know. Uh, what's changed in my life? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the, I really had to self evaluate because I remember, you know. You've been in the house since last March. Bro, we've been in the house so long, bro. So long. You had to stay in the house. But when it first started, it was worse, but yeah. Yeah. Well, I was losing my mind, but hey. You have to really self-evaluate yourself. You got to be like, yeah, I'm really in the house. What am I going to do? What am I It's really nothing to do. do. Like, that's what I really got back into that mode last week when when we were snowed in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was, oh, It is. It just changes your, it changes your, um... Yo, outlook. You the outlook. outlook on stuff, and it changes your your experience. You be like, man, let me let me do something. But I've gotten to the point now where I'm I'm on a like a self improvement thing. So I'm no longer just you know just sitting in the house moping, watching the screen. I'm either I'm trying to read a book. I'm trying to learn new skills. I'm trying to improve myself because. We, we all really, we got. At yeah, we all we got at the end of the day. And we have so much more time than we usually do. So yes. I've, I've, taken a, I've taken a step to self-improvement in myself and my life. Yeah, y'all. Like, I ain't going to lie. I, pro- I probably would not. I, I wouldn't even thought about uh, about getting these books or nothing like that if it weren't for quarantine, you know? Yeah. Like, it, it, it's, 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 it's low-key helped a little bit. Some of us evaluate life and uh, uh, really think about really think about what's going on inside us other than what's going on around us because yeah. everything around us you, is closed. You really find out what's important. I don't really find out what's important or what ain't. Yeah. And just, like, as far as a way to evolve and get bigger than what I am, what needs to be done and what needs to get put to the wayside for a little second while I get it done. So it's just like, yeah, it's it's like, I ain't going to say it like doing a prison stint because you still can go out and do certain <laughs> stuff. But it's like at the same time, you you is with your thoughts sometimes because it's like you just like, well, if, I, if I'm stuck in here, what am I doing and all this kind of stuff. So, yeah. Hi, hey, y'all. We made it through the first part, y'all. Hey, I need y'all to hit that like button if y'all watching on YouTube. I don't know what other apps I'm having on. I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all can stay posted on there if y'all Double follow. On Spotify, on Podcast. Yes, sir. If y'all follow, if y'all, I'm, I'm letting y'all know this right now. If y'all follow the boy on IG, I'm going to let y'all know all of that. Like, all of that. I'm going to let y'all know all of that stuff if y'all follow the boy on IG. We're going to do this every weekend. I'm going to be here since he don't think I'm going to be here. Yeah, he claimed he's going to be here every and week. Man, so, we're going to try to find guests. Yeah. We're going to try to do all of it. Now, now for right now, I want to keep the guest thing in-house. We can, uh, we can look... After y'all uh, give y'all feedback on the podcast, I I can look to see if there's other people around the world that want to be on the pod. But right now, I'm keeping it in house for the first couple episodes. So, like I said, y'all hit the like button. Y'all uh, make sure y'all give some feedback in the comments down below. Let me know how y'all feel about the first pod. Let me know if it's uh, anything y'all want me to add or take away. And yeah, I feel like this was pretty successful. We got an hour. I want three minutes, you we know. Them, One I, bad. I, I, we give them two claps for that. Down here. Uh, uh, two know. claps on them boys. Know what I'm Got anything else, Godfrey? Nah, man. All right, y'all. Peace. Y'all be greasy. Hey.